Feeling disconnected from your community? Turn to BrainerdDispatch.com. Local news keeps you in the know on what's happening in your area. From breaking news to high school sports reports, get the important news of the day and updates on local events only at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Monday, August 5th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. A longtime family-owned business is going full circle, back to where it all started 70 years ago. Breckens is making the move this fall from the Westgate Mall to Laurel Street in downtown Brainerd. It's moving to the same block where the store started in 1954. But this time, Breckens will be settling into one of Brainerd's most recognizable buildings. It's officially called the Parker Building and sits on the corner of 7th and Laurel Streets. The building attracted Isaac Brecken from the start, and he said his father thinks it's the best building in town. The Parker Building comes with one longtime tenant. Ed Mank, who owns E.L. Mank Jewelers. Breckens will have a moving sale from August 16th through Labor Day. The actual move is expected during the middle of September. Plans are to open up the new location around September 20th. Managing Editor Renee Richardson has more about the move in Saturday's paper and at BrainerdDispatch.com. The Northwinds Wind Ensemble in Pillager brings together musicians of all ages in northern and central Minnesota. The ensemble was founded in 2023 by Pillager grad Brendan Warren and high school band director Rob Freelove. They wanted to provide participants with the opportunity to grow as musicians and as a community. Find out more on the group in Dispatch intern Caroline Jolstrom's story in Saturday's Dispatch or online. The roar of a chainsaw filled the air at the Crow Wing County Fair last week. Chainsaw carver Ben Semler and his crew at I Saw It in Minnesota transform two dead trees into works of art. Bears and an eagle are now visible in the trees, which will be a permanent fixture at the fair for years to come. I've got the full story in Saturday's paper and at BrainerdDispatch.com. The Minnesota Military and Veterans Museum at Camp Ripley officially began construction in Little Falls last week. This marks the start of active construction, following a ceremonial groundbreaking last September. The facility and surrounding grounds are set for completion and grand opening in the summer of 2026. The state of Minnesota provided funding to design and construct the facility. The museum is designed to serve as a place of reverence, education, and celebration. It will emphasize living history through various initiatives. Learn more about the project in Saturday's paper. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives. Here's today's tidbit of local history. 20 years ago today, in 2004, the dispatch reported that Baxter officials are researching some sort of a smoking ban. The city council has directed city staffers to bring back sample ordinances to a future council meeting. Council member Mark Cross said several bar and restaurant owners and managers expressed a wish for a smoking ban. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Today's weather across the Brainerd Lakes area. Scattered showers and highs warming up to a rather cool mid-60s throughout the afternoon, and rainfall continuing on into the early evening. Then overnight, temperatures drop down into the 50s before we see mostly sunny skies and temperatures getting back into the upper 70s for your Tuesday. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Charles Peacock. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support. And thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day and we'll catch you tomorrow.